Bay. Until recently, much of the research done was on flights occurring at high Reynolds numbers. However, recent developments in the instruments for mechanical and computational modeling, as well as high-speed videography have allowed for more accurate analysis of the flight of small creatures such as the dragonfly and hummingbird. These small creatures fly at low Reynolds number, usually between 2,000 and 10,000. This report focuses on analysis of a flat plate moving at lower Reynolds numbers, up to 6,250. Prior to this research, it has been found that in flight, a leading edge vortex is formed at the front of the wing. Such vortices are associated with low pressure region above the flat plate and have been experimentally shown to increase the lift generated. However, these vortices would detach from the wing when it sheds downstream. This is accompanied by decreased lift. The initial hypothesis was that the detachment of the vortices can be delayed with the flap, leading to greater lift generation, hence improving the efficiency of the wing. The idea of the flap is derived from observing how birds fly. Birds have wings whose feathers prop up during flight, acting as flaps which may help delay the detachment of the vortices. This research aims to investigate the effect of a flap on the detachment of the vortices on a flat plate. Comparisons were made between a flat plate with and without a flap attached to it through flow visualization and measurements of lift. The plate is moved with both acceleration and constant velocity to compare how the effect of the flap would affect the lift in different motions. Research in this topic is significant due to its possible applications in the development of microair vehicles. There has been a growing interest in these vehicles today, which typically operate at low Reynolds numbers as well. Microaerial vehicles constitute a class of unmanned aerial vehicles with a size restriction, with modern craft being as small as 15 cm, and insect-sized aircraft expected in the future. The small craft allows remote observation of hazardous environments inaccessible to ground vehicles. It is hoped that this research would pave the way for future advancements in the technology of these microaerial vehicles. Our experiments were carried out with the water tank. Using a motor, a flat plate, or wing, was pulled through the water, when accelerating, and at constant speed. These experiments were done on a flat plate with and without the addition of a flap. The flap is a sheet of Teflon-based material, placed near the front of the plate. For flow visualization, polycrystalline particles were added in the water, and a laser pointer was used to light up the particles. The white dots in these photos taken are actually the particles reflecting the light from the laser. This allowed us to visualize the flow and take photos of it. We then compared the photos taken at different time intervals. Our first experiment was carried out with an accelerating plate. We measured the lift generated and plotted a graph that shows the coefficient of lift against time. The bolded line represents the plate without the flap and the dotted line represents the plate with the flap. This means that the plate without the flap has higher lift as compared to the plate with the flap. It was hypothesized that the addition of the flap would hold the vortex for a longer period of time, hence increasing the lift. However, our results have shown otherwise. The attachment of the flap actually decreased the lift generated by a wing when it is accelerating. We deduce that a possible reason for this is that the flap interrupted the growth of the vortex. When accelerating, the vortex usually grows in size and generates larger lift. However, with the flap in place, this growth is limited after a certain point, thus reducing the lift generated. Photos were taken of the plates when accelerating. Comparing the photos, we see that the vortex of the plate without the flap is larger than that on the plate with the flap attached. This further proves that the flap might have hindered the growth of the vortex and limited the lift that could be generated. The photographs and lift measurements thus led us to conclude the flap is ineffective as the plate accelerates. However, when the plates were angled at 15 degrees and pulled through the water at constant speed, our results show that the flap significantly improves lift generation. At constant speed, the growth of the vortex stops after a certain point and subsequently detaches. The results suggest that the flap delays this detachment and increases the overall lift. In conclusion, the flap is effective under steady state conditions where the leading edge vortex growth stops naturally. The flap attached to the leading edge of the plate delays the detachment of the vortices hence increasing the overall lift generated. However, when the plate accelerates, the flap leads to decreased lift instead.
Hence, we have deduced that under accelerating conditions, where the vortices usually grow without stopping, the flap inhibits this growth, and thus instead reduces the lift generated by the plate.